If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you are a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video. And in my last video, I made about the Patriots releasing safety OB Melifano to make room for Antonio Brown. I told you guys that the Patriots actually made two transactions to the roster, and this is the second one that the Patriots have released, tight end Lance Kendricks. Now, before we get too much into this topic, I do want to also say that the Patriots technically did make a third transaction, but it was to the practice squad, and I don't really make videos um, you know, for signings and releasings of the practice squad just because that is always, always changing, but the Patriots have released tight end Steven Anderson from the practice squad. Now, obviously, the biggest thing to note here about Lance Kendricks getting released is the fact that, you know, hold up. The Patriots already made a transaction. They released Obi Melifanu to make room for um, Antonio Brown. So what does this mean? This means that the Patriots actually have an open roster spot. So expect a signing. Expect a guy to uh, get moved up from the practice squad. Just one of those moves. But nonetheless, a guy is going to be added to the 53-man roster. If I had to guess... I would say that the Patriots are going to add an offensive lineman, more specifically, <clears throat> an offensive tackle. Now, I will be curious to see on who that is. Again, whether that's free agency, whether that's trade. Uh, also, another guy to watch would be Dan Skipper. Now, I'm not super high on that, but at the same time, he knows the Patriots system. He is ready to go. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they moved him up from the practice squad. Of course, that move would come in light of the Marcus Cannon injury. Now, Lance Kendricks is a veteran in the NFL. That was probably one of the best things about him. He's been in the season, or he's been in the league for eight seasons. He played with a few different teams, uh, the Rams and the Green Bay Packers. The Patriots signed him right before training camp. I mean, literally a day before training camp, the Patriots went and signed him. He was a guy that I was actually really happy about bringing here into our um, our team, especially with the need of tight ends. It made a lot of sense for the Patriots to bring in a veteran like him. I actually didn't even have him making the roster, but him just joining the team and the team taking a look at him was enough for me. Surprisingly enough, though, Lance Kendrick did make the Patriots' final 53-man roster. That was probably one of the biggest shocks to me, the fact that he did. Um, <clears throat> and one of the biggest shocks about that is, it's just the fact that he's suspended one game, okay? He was suspended against the Pittsburgh Steelers. You have Ben Watson. He's suspended for the first four games. So you had two tight ends that were going to be suspended for our opening night um, and banner release. So to me, it didn't make too much sense as, you know, I kind of always saw Lance Kendricks as, okay, if he makes the roster, then maybe he just sticks around as that reinsurance policy and uh, maybe he just gets the boot when um, ben Benjamin Watson comes back. Kendricks didn't do too much for the Patriots in the, season, in the preseason. Keep in mind that he did get injured at one point in training camp. Then he got injured at one point in the preseason. So he started to get pretty injury prone. Um, he also ha is the guy that actually forced that safety. I don't know if you guys remember that uh, preseason game. For some reason, I'm blanking on the team it was with. I believe it was the Titans. But he had a holding call in the back of the end zone, which by rules ended in a safety for the Patriots. Then that's not to knock on him too much. Of course, he did make some catches out there. He did make some nice catches. Uh, he was kind of exactly what I thought he was going to be. He'd be more of a guy who contributes in the passing game. He'd be a guy who you can really rely on going down the field. And that's really what we saw from him in the preseason. It wasn't anything too special. He just sits at six foot three. Uh, he's also 31 years old, so he is getting up there in age. So, of course, this is, wasn't a, uh, a future policy here for the Patriots. It was just kind of short term. My biggest question with this move, though, is that you knew he was going to be suspended one game. Okay, You knew he wasn't going to be able to play versus the Steelers. You put him on the original 53-man roster, and then you cut him after the week he was suspended— and when he's now finally able to return. Okay, to me, that was the biggest question. Uh, if he was a guy that you weren't really too interested in anyway, then just not have made him in the original 53-man roster, which 
I mean, they probably were never super high on Lance Kendricks, but they it, he was a guy that they wanted to keep for reinsurance policy, a guy that they thought, okay, maybe we could do a couple things with him. But then again, that injury to Marcus Cannon might have been like, all right, we need to add a guy. Sorry, Lance Kendricks. You're going to have to kind of be the one who gets the boot here. To me, it is very interesting, though, that guys like Ryan Izzo actually got the nod over... Uh, you know, a veteran presence in tight end here, like Lance Kendricks. And that's not to knock on Ryan Izzo by any means. I like Ryan Izzo, actually. Um, But at the same time, Bill Belichick is always a guy who likes to go with that veteran veteran presence. So, ultimately, the Patriots get a little bit thinner here at the tight end position. But with all the depth here at wide receiver, I think they're going to be okay. This is kind of what we were expecting coming into this 2019-2020 season is that the Patriots are really just going to carry a bunch of super talented wide receivers to try to make up for the loss of tight end. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the release of tight end Lance Kendricks? And let me know in the comments below. If you guys would like to grab some Patriots Global merch, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I promise you, you will not regret it by any means. And also, while you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Please make sure you guys share this video with everybody you know so we can go the Patriots Global family. Other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.